Okay, hi, uh, good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Not Only Five Talks. Uh, uh, like last time, we again have Sonali, the endless river, with us, and uh, today we will talk about a topic uh, which is prevalent in today's times, which is uh, um, the power of social media in our lives. And uh, Sonali, being uh, a very walk the talk kind of a girl with social media, she's going to lead the talks and I'll be adding to whatever comes to my mind at that point of time from now on. So, so Nani, I would like just, just, just like to start off with this, that in today's times, people are, uh, are grossly on social media. Anything, anything that happens in their life, they have a need and an urge to share it with their friends and families on social media. So, let's start off by, by dissecting the good and bad of these two. You've already written a post or yeah. already done some uh, take on this. So let's just take on from there. Like, what is the good and bad uh, of this uh, trend of going taking everything to the social media level? Mm -hmm. So and the implications in others. Right, right. Uh, well, if you pay attention very minutely, we never disconnect ourselves from this digital media and uh, to be like more specific social media. We are always online 24 7. We never log out from any of our social media profiles or handles. So that gives us a feel of uh, getting into a habit or getting into, may I say, an addiction to this type of sharing content, right? So whenever we feel the urge to see something online, to see what our friends are up to, to you know, know uh, what's the weather of this uh, specific area, or maybe what's the event happening nearby and everything, we go to social media. Maybe we go to Facebook or we go to Twitter, Instagram. There are plenty of applications and platforms out there. But when we need to do and find out something or the other, even before Google, our mind goes to Facebook and our mind goes to all these social media, various social media platforms. So like everything in life has a good and bad, thus this also has its cup of good and bad in for me, I think it all depends on the type of the way you are using social media and the way we consume social media in our daily life. Absolutely. So for me, I use social media for my personal branding and I use it to spread out positivity. But that does not mean that everybody and anybody will do the same, right? A lot of people use social media to to stalk, stalk others. So, yeah, stalk others is a very, uh, very I'm sorry. It's okay. to, to, to stalk people, it's a very common thing. See, I do it To spy on somebody else's yeah. activity without yeah, yeah. any notice. I swear. Yeah. Without liking That's or commenting right. on anything, you just ghost, it's called ghost walking in the, yeah. into the unknown territory, and you're just spying on them to keep a track of what they're doing. I mean, right. a lot of times you'll see a lot of people removing friends for this very purpose. Right. That these friends are no helpers. They are neither friends, they are just stalkers. Right, right. They just visit your profile, find out what you are doing and yeah. just keep a track of what you are doing. Right, right. That's, I think that's a big implication, that's, that's a negative implication very, in today's right, social right. media channels. So, to, this, to this I would like to add that uh, when Facebook was just getting into action and when Facebook was in the years of like climbing the ladder, we used to add random people as friends. I did it myself. You know, as a competition among friends, yes, we yes, used to add yes, people as part of the competition yes, yes. to see who has how many friends. Yes. So in that age, I added a lot of random people here and there, right? And then later I understood that I have a lot of, like, what do you say, praying eyes on me. Yes, right? yes. So I'm now they are unwanted eyes and they don't have a lot of good intentions. So they are really your friends. They are really somebody who no, just people. random people. Random yes. people, right. Just to like yes. increase the number of uh, friends ah, I have. Make it, on, make it socially make acceptable. It socially acceptable and all that. So adding random people is a big no. Please understand that the number of friends you have does not necessarily mean you have a tremendously happening social life and you are a very good friend in the normal norms. So please stop that. I mean, I don't know why people are still doing it when you add someone understand from where they're coming look into their mutual friends if they don't have any mutual friends then how will they find you just look into that and understand maybe you are part of a mutual group if that's it then it's fine if you have a mutual interest then adding each other is okay but just randomly adding people because you know like 50 people 
mutual? Are those 50 people actually your friends? Are, do you have trustworthy people inside the mutual circle? If you have, then it's okay. Yeah, if you it's don't, one or two trustworthy people, yeah, then yeah. Would, would suffice. Like, understand that social media right now is a very big part of your personal life. Why do you want to make a stranger in? like enter your bedroom you want that no we are like we are very secretive of right you, sh you should be protected you should be you should, be you should know how to differentiate your public uh, life and your private yeah 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 and these yeah. are things which which we see very often uh, people uh, sharing their private lives in on facebook and instagram right. which is which which might give you that that that, that small time gratification of getting a few likes and uh, getting a few loves uh, but in, in the long run, it is it is said to do you a lot of damage. True, that's true. Because people people are very judgmental in their in their beings, and they tend to make a lot of a lot of idea. Oh, mm -hmm. this is right, this is right. So don't, don't allow that. Huh? There's no point in letting uh, everybody know the truth about you or your private lives or yeah. something like that. So and uh, if you read the newspaper, which I sh I'm sure you don't, because I also don't. My mom reads it, but I get to know news from here and there, and I follow news on Twitter that cyber crime is now one of the most dangerous crimes ever ever okay more than like killing people and all that stuff it starts from cyber bullying and cyber stalking other people so you are keeping your life open like an open book which is accessible to the public so easily via one friend request and that person now knows everything and anything about you whatever you want to post it online and by the activities I see everywhere, people are posting anything and everything on there. From which movie they are going to see, to the vacation they are going to have, to the friends they have and to the places they had lunch and everything. So it's like so easy for me to yes, so like, follow your lifestyle. Life, yeah. yeah. So uh, it is like it's very very harmful. I don't know, I, maybe you did not look it look at it that way. But uh, that's the truth. It's just yes, yes, facts, yes, yes, yes. reality. Yes, yes. Right. Okay. Coming to that point, Sonali, I would like to ask you something. Is that you are currently doing your personal branding through Facebook, Instagram, or any other channels which you are you are you're doing them through? What are the uh, pointers you keep in mind? Why you are posting there, or do you follow a, a specific strategy while you are posting uh, the the photos mm -hmm. or the Articles you, you do, which you post, mm -hmm. is there a strategy behind this, or if there is a strategy, what what should people be aware of? People who are trying to build a brand on social media, what should their pointers be? Like these are the steps you you should do, and these are the steps you may do, or these are the steps you shouldn't do. Okay. okay. Anything like that? Yeah, sure. Obviously, there is a strategy for everything, but uh, my number one take would be that you need to be yourself, right? If you post something which looks cool or which in your eyes may grab a lot of attention, that will, that's going to be a one-time thing. So if people follow you for that very cool shot you took, they are coming to you with some kind of expectation of seeing a similar shot somewhere in the very near future. So if you cannot maintain that thing, then you're going down, right? So there comes the uh, point of being yourself. If you are yourself, you know that you are portraying your lifestyle, your views and your opinions out in, the, out in the open, right? So you do not need to understand what they like. You just need to put out what you are and how you are. And ultimately, there will be some amount of crowd which will accept you and which will love you and support you. And other people who don't support you, who don't need to, you know, yeah, you, you need you yeah. want to be a mass uh, uh -huh. appeal. Yeah, you, sure. you can you need to follow the way. You just find your crowd. Yeah, that's you what need to find, you find your crowd. Find your crowd. Yes, yeah. that's, that's one word. That, that's it. You need to find your crowd. See, mm -hmm. I have been uh, in that uh, cool portion zone, which I like to call cool portion. Mm -hmm. That uh, being a part of the cool gang and trying to appeal to everybody, you know, wanting to be accepted and loved by everybody, that didn't pay me a lot of uh, fuel. And I could not run too far. I was just like, yeah. And now I'm like the tortoise. And now I'm not going to win the race. So I don't want to be a rabbit. And I urge you not to be the rabbit anymore. So just be yourself. And apart from this, strategizing it would be, you have to be consistent. If you post something and that is grabbing a lot of eyeballs, you need to make note of that. So that is what your audience is liking. Right, if it's a video, if it's a image of 
you know, you looking a certain way or you speaking a certain thing, you need to make pointers and notes of that and you need to delete it, maybe, uh, you know, have a combination of stuff, right? Do a little mixture here and there and try out a little different here and there stuff. So repeat those, but keep those in pointing hands, like in pointers, right? Okay. And I think there's a big add-on which you do while you're uh, doing this kind of branding is that it, you're, you're following a very honest path and which I, I personally feel that honesty appeals to people. It's, it's, the, it's the greatest emotion which, with the greatest trait which uh, resonates with the normal crowd. Because if you're honest with your failures also, there will be a certain crowd who will resonate with you, yeah. who, who, who have faced the same circumstances right, right. somewhere or the other. And that is the crowd you want to resonate, you want to inspire, you want to be with. Mm -hmm. Because they understand you, they, they understand just exactly how you are feeling. Mm -hmm. So I personally feel that honest, being honest is, yeah. is a big, big uh, tool for, for I mean, charging into the social media brand. Right. Yeah, like you said, honesty. Yeah. It's like being wrong, you have to be real, right? Yeah. So if you are, for example, a college student and you think that being a certain way appeals to the high school people, that's okay because they are not in your shoes. So for them, you are maybe the icon and you are maybe someone they look up to. But for people who are elder to you, you are looking like fool. Yes. So, so then the reality sets in there. So that means you're not wrong. If people of all age and all category at least feel this that, you know, I may not like your views, I may not agree with what you said, but I agree that you are raw and you're, you know, you're being real honest, from you're the heart. You, yeah, you're, you're being you. you. Yeah, you're being you. Mm. Then they're going to respect your opinions either way. Yes. Agree with you. Of course. Of course. Okay. That's, that's very well said. And these pointers, if followed by, by an individual while crafting their social media strategy, is uh, number one you said is uh, be yourself. Second thing is like be raw and be be like utmost uh, be real. That's that's the kind of thing. And third is like be consistent. Be consistent. So yeah, if these three if yeah. these three pointers are taken into account, maybe uh, that should be a solid grounding for your social media strategy. Right. right. And uh, going on that, uh, I think uh, let's keep this short for uh -huh. the time. And yeah. when in the next talk, we we'll look into the other areas in which social media can actually improve your day to day life uh -huh. and your and your and you, your your business at, at large. Right, right. And of course, this is normified talks, and uh, we are always happy to see someone yeah, come yeah. up and participate in this. Please and engage with us via yes, comment. And We'd and love to hear. You can always follow her at Sonali. You can just Google it, Sonali at the Endless River, and Sonali the Endless River, and uh, that's Sonali. And of course, we are normified, and you can find us in the handles which are here. Anywhere on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And till then, we'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.